Hey folks, this is Noble Rambler, and welcome back to RimWorld. We're going to hopefully get back to some kind of normal, though I don't really know what normal is. <laughs> Not normal for Natalia, that's for sure. I, she spent the night over here tearing all this down. And Tomislav just got to bed. No, he didn't. Where is he at? Right over there, he is insisting on not sleeping, huh? I, he spent the night kind of reorganizing this area. Klaus is up here building it. Um, needs. Yeah, he's going to crash here soon, but his mood is still through the roof. Anyway, um, Lady Shell came up with the idea that the crematorium, when we finally get to it, I was going to put it over, kind of build it into the, into the stone mountain over here, but if it went somehow into here then there's less chance of bodies being hauled into the base to you know cause people problems and whatnot there's 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 something to argue about that I kind of like that idea we're kind of crowded in here though finally get, getting all this done um, our little emergency bedroom in here for someone who's crashing but I still need them available give them an hour's two sleep I don't know it's an extreme situation or, or example, but we could also think about a uh, a gauntlet or a wall sentry position from you know from a character that's going to be coming up soon, and maybe this is that person's bedroom and they're you know maybe they're the hunter. Math is possible. Get a heater out here and it won't be the greatest bedroom. We'll have to uh, swap things out until we get a superior everything in here so that it, it makes up for the lack of space, but eh, we'll see. Most possibility. Gonna get these guys built because we actually got a little chem fuel out of the, uh, um, the, the mechs, I'm guessing. They just showed up. So, in fact, Natalia is probably down here. Yep, she's loading up right there. Chem fuel and, and uh, iron, 20 iron. That makes the incendiary, right? Uh, does it say? She is high explosive shell. Okay, let's try that again. Incendiary shell requires what? 30 chem fuel. Okay, that's why we can't do that one. So let's go over to the high explosive one. That takes 10 and 20. Okay, so she can handle those. And I've got shell storage up in here somewhere right there. So I thought about shells on this side and shells on this side. Or we could do it like in the middle, so they can both reach it, either here or here. That's a possibility. Hmm. If we did the crematorium, I think it'd have to be right here. Over here is a little too tight without moving things around or losing this one at least. One, two, we could do now. Happy one, two, three. It would, yeah, it block up this hallway, but we could take out two of these guys and put it in here somehow. So that's a possibility. Keep that one in mind. Um, Handy wrote in, said, check the age on the alpaca. I see we're 16. That's probably a bit old. I don't know how old alpacas live in Rimworld, you know, let alone in real life, but. Dogs, when they're at 16, they're they're right near the end. We, our our uh, last dog made it to, I think, I think she was 18. Got a cat that made it to 21. Another cat that made it to, I think, 19. Successfully tamed a boomalope. Okay, well, that's our third boomalope now. So it may be that the 16-year-old alpaca is going to have more and more heart attacks and go through a lot of medicine. So we need to kind of go through the ages and, and look at which animals may not be uh, worth hanging on to for a while, uh, except for those that are bonded or, or whatnot, or could work right up to the end, you know, ham and divot or, uh, and sienna and what have you. So I'll take a little bit of time to go through that. Michael, even with his tinfoil helmet, his... Oh, but I bet you he just got up and he was hungry. Where is Michael? Right over there. Relaxing socially. Okay. I'm going to go sit in that really nice chair. That's good. That should get his mood back up. Handy is no longer inspired. Work frenzy. Okay. That's right. I asked her to get into this guy. Good. Let's get our second butcher table going. Bill's uh, butcher creature and forever. What was that now? Still have our psychic drone. Something popped over here that went away. So butcher forever and kibble forever. 
let's do it that way. Um, I'll tell you have. Okay, so kibble over here, butcher over there, and <clears throat> did we have a second person available? Cook, there was Michael, and that was it. Though Shantico could now work on meat while, um, where's he at? While someone else works on the kibble. That was really the idea. So Shantico can handle that. Where is he at? I'm guessing he's down in here somewhere. He's up here. <laughs> Relaxing socially with Klaus, and he's going to head down and cook a fine meal. Okay, good. So in that case, let's... Oh, the dogs have stocked us up. Great. So we're going to make meals out of muffalo and rice. Okay, so I got Sangria working on... Hmm, what was that? It was both, uh, both of them are on growing now. Let's see here. Sangria, grow. Yeah, both her and Rabbit are on grow, though Sangria is taking a break for, for training. So we can get as much of this stuff replanted as possible. We've got other people on plant cut right there. That leaves really just Tomislav right now. Hmm, that's not enough. So Alicia because all the wood's already been used that we had cut down. So I'm going to put a leash on that duty as well. Where are you? Right there. So take your mining down by one. You're up. You're up. Miss P sleeping. Alicia's over here. She's off to harvest a poplar tree. Good. Catherine's down here cleaning. How about up in here cleaning? Right in there. That's the important area. We've got a lot of moods that are really kind of iffy right now. So I want to get our, our uh, common areas cleaned up. Otherwise, Handy is down here building. Is there anything else I'd rather that she did? Let's see, what's up in here? Um, We could just get this finished. I mean, we could have a siege at any time, if you think about that. Let's do that. This is all steel. A little bit of wood left over there. Yeah, all the wood is gone. Alicia, you're heading which direction? You're going up into right there. Good. So any more that a matured so we can cut these a little bit closer let's pull from here to here yeah, there's a few of them that have got have gone in there okay Tomislav you're up and you're making wood good and Alicia rabbits planting we have plenty of dogs I redid the animal uh, um, zone for them to be able to reach everywhere that's got uh, something to haul in including the future uh, uh, ship parts that we need to tear down here and there so they should be able to bring most everything in I probably need to expand that a little bit maybe that's why they're not well they, they got plenty of room down here for food okay they'll never fill all that up though the idea was to keep them from going into uh, too much of the freezer and dirtying it up so let me rethink that one um, here zones uh, clear animal no trap zone is no longer part of this Instead, it is animal no trap from here to here. And eh, we'll do this upper part right there. Okay, so they can drop things off in there. And if they're starving, they can get in there and eat some rice or something if it comes down to that. <clears throat> it's the alpacas and the grazing zone over here that's a problem. Why do we have 20 over there? I don't know. <laughs> when Natalia gets up, she'll... Uh, She'll take care of that. So we need chem fuel. I need a I need a I need a picker in there. Um, Alicia, you're nearby and you're good at it. Let's reroute you for a moment. How far are you? Let you finish that one. <clears throat> and then come over here and mine this one. And mine that one, and I'll try to catch you to do the other three. Then we'll get that one set and start building it. Um, animals, I, there was a boomalo heading for this area and set you for for um, basic obedience, okay. Uh, everybody else is what they should be, looks like it. Got quite a herd going on here now. Now, is there a quick way to see the ages? Not really. Doesn't seem to be, I gotta go from animal to animal. So I'll, I'll do that uh, off camera, and we'll go ahead and send the, the, the oldest ones to the, uh, to the refrigerator, and uh, I'll do that off camera so folks aren't all, uh, oh, <laughs> good. Pigs are hauling in the stuff and hauling in the wood. Okay, that's good news. 
All right, so I didn't have anybody haul in the steel over here. I figured we had uh, we had hauling animals for that, and a lot of it's already gone. So they'll gradually work their way through and, and clean, uh, clean all that up. Okay, so we're fine. That's right, Alicia, you probably already escaped. Yeah, boy, you're quick. <laughs> um, Miss B, let's get you instead. Digging at marble. Dig at this marble over here. Where are you at right now? Good, you haven't left yet. And did you... Let's see, you were digging at marble in your, your list here, so I didn't interrupt you. Good, you got a fine meal, and you took a fine meal. Good. All right. So you're good there, Chantigo. Let's haul this away. Uh, right there. And then let's... Hmm... Nope, not going to let me uh, choose any of these this time. We'll go for corn. There's the space. It's all available. Huh. Well, I can't get you to haul anything. Weird. So, I can't get any of these stacks. I wonder if one will just randomly show up. No. What is going on with that? That is so frustrating. Unless the animals have already got them reserved to fill them in. That could be it, too. There could be a, a pile of rice on its way in on the back of a pig. <laughs> I did, one thing I really wish is that when you clicked on that stockpile, it said so you know so and so is already bringing something to it so you can click on that and get the mystery right there see and it was get the mystery solved so you're not left wondering and then Sienna's going to eat it <laughs> you're going to get more no okay so that was berries let's have you i can't there we go that one worked but this one didn't and then we have 70 of the others so we're good okay that's working we're getting our meal count back up again right Back up to 19. Good. So when we see this filled in really well, Michael's going to hopefully do all the butchering. Just get all the, the, the beasts out of here and, and fill it full of meat. Then we know what we've got. And when we get it completely filled up, maybe we'll go back to lavish meals for a while. But I want to make sure we actually get there. This right here, plant hay grass, and it's been completely ignored. Now we've started. We've started. Okay. Psychic drone is ending. Oh, good. Okay. Tame failed. Sangria is going to do another taming. So we're not quite getting our stuff filled in as fast as I'd want. Now the... Oh, wait a minute here. Uh, doggies. Animals. No, we can go into there. And we can not go into here. There is a problem. So during the summertime, I need them to haul this stuff in. So here, there, and... No trap zone, right there. Okay, I want the dogs to be able to haul in all the medicines. It's sitting out here, uh, slowly rotting away, and that's not good. Okay. What is that? Simple meal has rotted away in storage. What? Out here? Spoils in three days. Three days storage. In storage. We're 20... No, we're 25 degrees in here. I don't know of any other storage other than what's just laying out over here. Three days and three days. That's not likely to have been the source. Meals. Meals. That one's not being used. That one was is gone. Uh, there are no meals up in here. There are no meals in here. Huh. I don't remember besides um, Alicia's room of any emergency meal drops. Was there one way up in here for these guys while we were on this siege? Don't see any little pink squares, though. No, I don't think that was it either. That's weird. Three meals, just like that. Gone. Hmm. Not good. Hopefully. Oops. Hopefully i figure what that is before, uh, before it happens again. All right, so we need wood into the stove. Jantigo is resting, and it is 2,300, and you're there. Okay, who does not need to rest that can that can do the stove? Curious, Natalia, you don't haul the stove. 
is a hauling job. Okay, so we can't trick you to do that in any way. I could trick you to cook. Uh, hmm. No, probably not. I don't think that would work. You are grabbing the chem fuel, aren't you? Yep, yeah, okay. So food sitting outside, just cloth. Nothing in here, nothing over here. Well, there's a little bit of hay and more cloth and the medicines, okay. So, Miss P's up, Natalia's up, and that is it. Miss P, what you up to? <clears throat> oh, you found this. Okay, well, that's actually probably a good idea. And you had a meal with you. So you'll probably work through most of this. Your character now, wow, mining of 18. You are just about going to eat this stuff with your teeth. Yep, wow. Flying through there. So we've got a tremendous amount of metal, of, uh, metal need, um, uh, steel needs coming up. So vents in every one of these rooms. Um, still don't have the cooling figured out for all this. We do have cooling set up for the refrigerators, though, and they've not been uh, installed yet. So a cooler takes 90 steel. A vent takes 30 steel. So time you add all up, you're, boy, <laughs> you're a lot. A couple thousand, maybe, when the, this whole thing's done. And steel at the moment is sitting at well, more than I thought, 600. He did work through a lot of the stuff that was down here. So the rest, yeah, it's all piled in here right now. And we still are accepting it over here, I believe. So how is this doing? Still 196. So she's working on the shells, and then she's going to be working on the helmets, which are taking a lot of steel, too. Bills, helmets, right there. Um, 70 steel is what we're using so another five helmets there's another 350 steel just for those so yeah lots and lots of needs so that's definitely a good job to be working on uh grab this guy do that okay all right so natalia's busy i guess not much more that i can really do with the with the uh, colonists, so let's work on granite wall, no, um, marble walls, through here, and we're at actually an end right here, so like so, there, this is a granite door, another granite door at the end of that run, um, walls through here, Granite doors there and there. Okay. That's looking good. Hmm. So we've got some rooms getting close to finished. A lot of doors to go in. Hmm. Uh, Miss P is where? Oh, she's up there right now. So I could have Natalia just haul stuff. So when Handy gets up, she can be building. That's kind of what I want the night crew to, to be able to do. Though Tomislav is up. I could bug him. He is harvesting a poplar tree. How much wood did we get done? We got quite a bit. Let's hold off on doing more of that until the dogs get a chance to haul it in. So Tomislav, come on down here and do that. And let's see. You are heading for that pile. So we've never really filled this back in much. Okay. In fact, 14. That's been there the whole time. I'm thinking that's sandstone or something unusual. So, where did I send you to? Let you grab that stack. Let's have you just fill in a whole bunch of them for me. You got a brand new mood to work with. So, you're going there. Let's have you fill in here, there, this area, and this area, that area. And then head a little further into here and here. And then come in and do doors. So that door, that door, these two, and those two, and those two. All right, that should give you plenty of things to fill in. Handy just went to bed not too long ago, so she's not going to be up for a while. Klaus, you are building marble wall construction. 
Um, Tomislav, after that, once you get back to research. So, work. In fact, once I do this, you just might <laughs> say, I've had enough, I'm going to go research right now anyway, but we'll see how, how well you're willing to maintain the queue there. Yeah, you're still working. So Klaus is building things. Uh, Klaus, you can be filling in some blanks for me too. So why don't you f do that one, that one, that one, and then let's see, Tomislav is filling all those in. You can fill in these, fill in these, Fill in more of these. Uh, Klaus needs... You're going to need food soon, so I'm going to stop there. Okay. And he's up. And she's just going to start filling in all the blanks of everything I got, to, got worked on. Although, I could really use this finished. So once you come back up in this area, do this and fill in some more of these. Alicia is going to harvest poplar tree. While you're doing that, why don't you bring more of the wood down here for the for the wood floor pigs are bringing more of that stuff in there all right just little bits here and there just filling in all the blanks um pigs have uh, pigs and dogs lots of wood to bring in hopefully they get into the cotton soon did they get into this they are good look at that he's just just rounding it all up there that is good to see a pig in the garden <laughs> okay we have full wind First time I've seen that, this whole series. 3,000 watts is what this seems to be maxed out. Okay. And these guys are maxed out at 1,700 watts. Oh, well, that's good to see. Now, I've turned on this battery. We're at 918. 919, we're charging. So let's get this guy shut down at the end of this day. And that way we'll... we'll uh, we didn't actually use very much. So two turrets, four batteries. We were only down maybe 20%. So two batteries would have done that just fine. Okay, Natalia, you're working on what now? Helmets. Okay, you're done with the chem fuel. So all those got brought over. We have nine shells over here. Good. And Handy, did you make it? You're thinking about it. Now I see we've got uh, these heading this way. So that's probably a good thing to... Good. Get some over there. We got plenty over here. Oh, we're maxed out over here. Good. That's good to see too. All right. So more kibble. Do we need to think about that? Is 75 enough for in here? We got two stacks in here. Thinking about expanding this one to a third stack. Hmm. It spoilage doesn't say doesn't say there okay doesn't really give me any hint about spoilage okay all right then this one too so don't have to keep it in the fridge for any reason all right let's expand this one then zone stockpile you go out one more so 75 150 that's 300 now let's up the kibble bill over here kibble details uh we're at 225 300 that ups it to 251 good that's right all right so that's going there um boy muffaloes are disappearing on us that's a good sign now we just don't want to see a power outage that would be bad so temperature in here is 20 degrees it's holding one little heater or cooler it's doing the job Eventually, we could put a second one in. If we get a heat, well, if we get a heat wave, we could probably drop one of the coolers in the uh, uh, furniture. Where is that? That's in temperature. That's right over here. The passive coolers. You will run. Oh yeah. Okay. So cool by water, evaporation, run out, self-destruct after several days. It won't take it down to 20 degrees but I'm sure it will assist that's my thought so a couple of those built in there and he, during a heat wave problem is you've got to you've got to once the heat wave starts it's not the time you want to be busting out this wall here and building another one unless you've got all the supplies ready to go because this will get uh, this will drop down to the 100 degrees you are outside for a while and everything accelerates its rot so 
once it it hits you're kind of too late I could do it right now in preparation for it but I'd much rather just move everything over to here and get this going hmm so I don't want to put any more uh, raw materials into this temporary base that we're just going to tear out doesn't make sense to me you know it might make more sense when I'm in the middle of a heat wave and we're losing meat but uh, you know there's also a chance that's, never, that's not going to happen this summer too so we'll see um, that's in not much more that I can do we'll assign somebody to it when uh, when the time happens and is this guy a problem I'm thinking the person operates this one from this position, operates this one from this position. Can we actually use that? Kathra, draft you and man this. In fact, let's get these preloaded. That's a, probably a good idea. It takes a while to do all these steps. I want to make sure that you can, can actually stand on top of that orbital trade beacon. And you can. Okay. And then man this one. Go load that one up. All right, and stand down. And you're going to clean that up. So, actually, Kethra, there we are. What's going on in the base right now? Looking pretty good. Clean up this area. And then I would say go back to art for a while. Yeah, that made a huge improvement. Okay. All right. And we might just be tearing this one down. I think that's what it's going to come down to. Um, let me know your thoughts on that. But Well, okay. Let's wait for one more raid that hits over on this side of the map. That way we'll be certain that they absolutely cannot make this trip. The mechs didn't, but they were over here. So that was just their natural next place to go to. You know, the further distance may have been canceled out, even though this is a, you know resistive way of getting in. It was so much closer. I may have outweighed it. Um, okay, down in here, Andy is continuing to build. Klaus is continuing to build. Water is still there. Water is still there. This has not been built. Andy, let's get this one going. Let's speed this process up. Uh, this one has finally reached this one. So that's helped. So maybe we'll let the two of them fight for that one. We still have plenty of power. Thousand? thousand flip the switch all right more woods coming in we're almost running out of room in here for it good where's our backup supply for wood let's make this a backup supply and just get it in it's under the roof no other choice you are stockpile your mechs and i kind of want to no your mechs what are you your mechanoids you are what raw resources Stone blocks. Okay, cancel that one then. You are now wood and steel. Yeah, okay. Wood and steel and storage. Important. Critical. Let's make you critical as well so you're even. So right there. That way we don't get people taken from the critical and someone else grabbing out of the important to fill up the critical again. We'll use that from our freezer to our refrigerator, and that sounds good, but wasting the, the time running back and forth between stockpiles otherwise doesn't make sense. Um, precision rifling is done. Craft assault rifles and sniper rifles. Woohoo! Okay, research screen. We are now heading for... We have geothermal as a possibility. We have... Smelting and cremation as possibility. They're not critical though. We can make as many graves as we want, and then we can we can dig up the graves and, and bury them, or burn them later. So that's not too critical. Um, I would say this is. Was there anything else? <sighs> you guys stare at that and let me know your thoughts. We've got double strand pemmican and carpet pemmican eventually and bedrolls eventually when we're getting ready to, to venture out into the world but we're not there yet so we've got this guy here that we have so much uh, herbal medicine now I'm not too worried about uh, um, keeping the, the the bugs away whatever whichever one that was the plague or something like that um, 
Hmm. I'm going for this one. You guys let me know if there's logic in somewhere else. We don't we don't need hydroponics. Um, we don't need carpets and colored lights and what have you. Not at this point. Hospital bed though. That's another a multi analyzer. Oh, okay. Let's go there first. We already got that one started. That gives us some. Uh, uh, that works to speed up the research. Which we need to think about where this is going to go. I'm thinking it's right here. Though maybe it's down here. A little deeper in. Normally my common room would have the, the comms console and a pool table and the, you know, the research and that kind of stuff. But didn't want to make that big of a room this time. So we'll break it up and go into a couple separate places. Yeah. So, yeah, let's think about that over here. How do we want to do that? Let's grab... Though I can't... Unfortunately, I can't uh, look at it this way. Uh, high tech. Where are you at? Right there. Once you're in the mountain, it doesn't show up anymore. But I can get a kind of a sense of it right here. So, one there. A multi-analyzer like right here. And then another one right up in there. Could do that. Comms console could go there too. Production tables are going to start going somewhere in this area. Hmm. Also, the possibility of wanting uh, animals down somewhere near the hospital is a possibility. Though I think they're going to be a little bit further up. I think the barn's going to be kind of in this area. Yeah. Get them outside, but still reasonably close to. To emergency vet uh, operations and things. Um, yeah, I'm just trying to. I'm just debating on the size. So the high tech table is one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. So five. The multi analyzer. Oh, it's been a while since I've seen one of those. Let's leave as much as a two by three. But I'm thinking it's a one by two. We'll leave as much as the the next the bigger size. So we're too deep there. So another really it's probably just two. We'll say three. So we're at five and then another five is another ten. So if you left a ten, uh, let's see power. What do I want here? Structure and what is that noise? And why do I not have any granite in here? Oh man. Okay, well, that plan's gone. Um, yeah, we're going to have to get him back here to block cutting. Unfortunately, granite is gone, and what's the... Down to marble blocks, too. Okay, well, let's do that. Bills, I need granite up first. Need 500 of those. We have zero. And 483 of the other. Okay, who's the lucky person? Um, Kathra, resting. Did I ever set you back to art? I don't think I did. No, you've been cleaning this whole time, so we'll let you art. Uh, Michael has been arting when there hasn't been any cooking. So he's probably been in and out of that. Who's on the table right now? Art. Right over there. We have a Cathra left, so Michael was able to get in and finish his. Okay. So Cathra's going to art. Michael's going to block cut. And Michael, right there, needs... Mood is decent at, even at the end of the day. It's good. I think you can handle it. Not many reds right now. That's really good. Um, should we leave the psychic foil helmet on him? We could. <laughs> uh, what was the, the description of that? Though? Was that a constant plus or it just, it just blocked out the negative? Um, reduces the impact of, of negative. Okay, so that's not going to help him long term. Okay, so let's just get that dropped. Uh, gear and right there and drop which nope he had to wake up to do it darn okay Did that give him a negative no not yet okay unforbid you somebody will come and put that away it's zero in the morning so the animals are on their way to going to sleep so they won't they won't bug him ham's on his way in with his last trip natalia is bringing more chem fuel where are we getting this chem fuel at they just keep showing up Really? There was 20 and a 20. 
and we already had two shells from the max. So 20 and 20 would have made four more shells, so we should have six. Two are loaded, there's four, that's six. Yet there's more chem fuel. I'm really kind of confused. It's 10. Huh. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, well, thank you. Um, we didn't have a pod drop that I don't know about, did we? I don't think so. Hmm. Okay, Natalia is making an advanced helmet, which she's going to go until we have one extra. Michael's got a bald head. I didn't know that. <laughs> um, character. Too bad it doesn't show you a little bigger picture. He is 18. But, yeah, I expect a little more hair there. I guess I didn't notice it before. Oh, let's see. There it is. This one, deconstruct. And get a marble wall in there. Good. Over here, got it. Okay, you can deconstruct. And we'll disconnect you. No, not... Oh, there is no turning you off. You're just build or, or not build. Okay, so that's those two. This one got built, and it's going to work hard on this one. Um, Miss P, I hear you tapping down here. You almost got all that done. Where do we go after this? I guess I finished. Maybe I'll plan this out uh, when the episode is over. But she's about to be done with mining. Well, that means she's about to head off and do other things. We have other minings set up. We could find out what uh, what this is. Hmm, what time is it? Three in the morning? Let's get a little closer to... Oh, five or six in the morning. Maybe we'll go see just what that is. Of course, as soon as I start to explore, we'll get a raid dropped in on us. But we've got more steel to take out of places like this. Right there. In fact, it's, it's just getting light enough to be able to look around. Have another alpaca ready to tame. Um, looking for timber wolves and things like that. No. Looking at the Z's while I still can. So far, we're looking pretty empty here. What are you? You're a burnt tree. Okay. Bunch of pigs out here. Yeah, I'd say we're looking pretty good. Though I always look out at the extremes. I never think of looking in here. <laughs> yeah, we're fine. Okay, so Miss P, you are digging at marble. Your needs are fine. Let's go see what this is. Alright. Shantigo. You're going to do it. Okay, you have got an auto pistol. You've got some shooting skill. If we run into a bug nest, they'll still take you down. <laughs> now, you don't quite have... You've got some skill at it, though. Yeah, you came in with some skill. Twelve, yeah. Okay. Um, Miss B, you're still over here. You're fine, yeah. Okay. Getting there. Gonna get an area revealed. What's it gonna be? That's what I was assuming. One space. Okay, good. You go ahead and go about your duty of making kibble. So we're we're packed on meals, huh? We're not. Now why can't because it's a hauling job and the dogs don't fill it up. Ah. Okay, you're going to do that one. That's frustrating. And that is the end of the meals. Natalia went in there and turned right around and came back. She picked up a meal. Is that what it was? Uh, gear? Must be so. Yeah, she picked up a simple meal. Okay. All right, so in that case, boy, I hate to put somebody on hauling when I've got everybody doing so many other things when the dogs can do the hauling. Hmm. We need to be somebody with a good speed. Uh, sangria alpaca. 
Okay, we have a new alpaca. Too bad. I wonder... Hmm. Let's think about things here. You, you, you go there. Alpaca, you, and you're going there. Let's see you. You are age three and male. Our other one, um, there, male, age 16. I was hoping it was female. Yeah, I was hoping that the new one was the female. Then we could at least get a pregnancy going before we uh, have alpaca burgers. Um, good there. Handy's doing these. Michael is probably still got the cook order. He does. Okay. So, Michael, you're going to come off of cooking and drop back into crafting and make me some blocks. Okay. Pig is in a hurry, hauling a fine meal to stockpile nine. Okay. So, and watch until we get started. The animals are filling them up. Come on, bring some more strawberries. Come on, guys. Pig is frozen. No, pig. Where are you? Boy, four clicks. Wild boar, wandering. I think he ate, he hauled six meals and there's only five left. That suggests to me that something got swiped there. Um, there's the strawberries. They're making their way in. <laughs> that is comical. Okay, um, Handy, let's have you specifically tear this one down. And then tear this one down. And then... Hmm, Klaus, you are... I think we're, we're kind of running out of things for these guys to build. We've got all the, the the blocks that we have placed have been filled in, and we're desperately needing more of the uh, uh, the granite. There's Michael, who's going to start making granite. Good. And he likes... No, he doesn't. He doesn't like mining, right? Let me think about that. He does like mining. Okay. So he's going to get a little bit of a joy bonus after a while, though it's got to make up for... It's not an ugly environment anymore. Ooh. Uh, beauty is neutral, in a sense. He's at 42% in holding. Okay. So we've cleaned this up enough to do us some good. Um, Handy, you are now... You did that one. You did another one. The pig's already hauling it away, isn't, isn't it? Okay. Handy right now is meditating. Okay. Needing some joy. So what to do specifically with Handy? Maybe we get these guys going. Maybe so. Or we get some, some floor smoothing going. Hmm. What do we activate first in here? Get the kitchen up and running. And the... Well, I was going to say kitchen and medical up and running. We have bedrooms that function now already. Then gradually start moving into the bedrooms. I'd like to smooth all the floors. We could set some floors to smooth, and as they run out of building materials, they'll actually do it, which is the extreme. You know, they they, they build roofs first, and then they build, they, no, they repair first, then they build roofs, then they work on things that already have blocks, and then they'll start bringing supplies and actually working on something from scratch without being told to, and then they will deconstruct something, and then they'll smooth floors. That's kind of the order that I've that I've gotten from this. So having them smooth floors is, is quite a quite a task. And we've got some rooms that aren't smoothable with dirt in them. So we've got to figure out what to do with some of these. Maybe well the surgery is going to be silver. These rooms could be stone medical rooms. Uh, Star Trek blue for for the uh, the doctor's uh, quarters infirmary. That's a possibility. Hmm, carpeting, I'm thinking, or, or, what do we have in floors? We don't have any slate, well, no, none of these really have a blue tone to them. We'd have to get into carpet to do that. Um, carpet is research, right? It was long ago. I, there it is, carpet making. 1,200? Really? Okay, takes as much for that as some of the bigger items down at this end. Huh, I would think carpet would be like passive coolers or pemmican not that big a deal <laughs> but it is kind of neat to, to color code the bedrooms 
by their profession. But uh, it's kind of hard to, to do that after you get past the, the red, blue, and, and gold. And nobody wants the red. <laughs> nobody wants to be handed a red shirt. Um, oh, all the butchering is done. Great. So that's finished. And where are the dogs? All these meals ready to go in. 10, 10. Another almost 10. Come on, Ham. You got it? You're hauling. Completed a small sculpture. Okay. Um, then what? When you're not doing that, you just drop right back into cleaning, right? Cathra, art, and then clean. Yeah. And I'll bet you it is absolutely filthy up in here. And that's where you're going to drop it off. So that's probably what you'll do next. Um, I've gone through all of these sculptures and there wasn't anything... Although that one's new. That one's by Michael. Poor. Let's see what it says. Uh, so a beauty of 68. Um, refers to Natalia finishing construction on an armor vest. All right. On this piece is an image of Natalia adding surface detail to an armor vest with a gleam in her eye. Hmm. Now, none of the clothes or, or armor vests could have works of art on them, right? Uh, five authors gaze in awe. The whole image is depicted by the careful arrangement of hundreds of tiny bison, and the work is shaded in hues of red and black. Hmm, 10th of April, May. So that was one of her first ones that she made. Okay. So that one goes into Natalia's place. And, or that one does. We need to come back and read this one. But let's get that one set right now. Install. And Natalia is over in here. Let's drop this in this corner. And now this last one right here. We've got by... Okay, finish the multi-analyzer. Ooh. Okay, research screen. Let's do that real quick. What was I talking about? Geothermal... Until something else comes up. Okay, that is in progress. Now, this one. And superior. Whoa. Superior gives us 135 beauty. Nice. And though we don't have a real exciting story. Darn. This work bears a depiction of weasels playing poker. Okay, I take it back. That's a great story. <laughs> Innumerable gunsmiths float in the background and the style is favest with the Rococo elements. Yeah, that's a winner. <laughs> Where does that one go? Temporarily, it goes into kind of a common place, I think. Anybody having a lot of issues with... Uh, hmm, there. That might perk up the jail. I hate to waste it on a jail, though. Um... Eventually, these all get moved into the new base. Otherwise, who doesn't have one right now? Maybe we've got to look that way. Miss B's always fine. Catherine's always pretty good. It's her work, though. And she's there. Yeah, let's do that. Install that one right there. Good. All right. So, where are we right now? What have I missed? What have we started to do and haven't gotten to? Um, we don't have cremation, so we can't get into that. We do have... A hole in the wall here, though. Let's get that one going. Production, you are the refinery. Get you in there, get more shells made. Refinery will have work panel because it's outdoors. Okay, we can we can fix that. Structure, wood, walls. Though you'd think this would be... Yeah, okay, I'm going to do that anyway. Um, going to go through there, through there... And need to move a grave. We have one dug over here, right? We do have one indoors. Kind of a weird place for it. Utah. So I guess our hauling has made it to this side. You're going for silver. Silver? Ooh, we dropped silver from that ship. I forgot about that. Mm hmm. So they made it to this side to haul things in. The wood is in. Okay. And we've gotten all this cut down. There are no more orders over here. Wow. So we have a few orders over here. No, how much wood is in stock? 1,480. Oh, good. Now steel is the next thing. I need to get lots and lots of steel in stock. We've got some work done over here. And got this queued up. So Miss P will be heading that direction. And Alicia will. Let's get her up and running again on uh, Alicia on mining. All right, plant cut is done. 
she's probably been cleaning and not too happy about that and so she is going to tap the last two of these alicia is up wow we're almost done here uh 50 minutes into this and michael is making granite and they're probably hauling it away as fast as he's making it so a couple ticks there a few over there and the mining is done down here let's go ahead and get furniture torch lamps built into all of these until we've got our electric lighting in here and we uh actually let's move that one to there didn't mean for that to go so we'll have to move the stone in order to build it Otherwise, you've got one in there, you don't have one there or there. Let's get one there, there, bulk goods trader. And that is coming to us, a caravan uh, is approaching. They are a bulk goods trader. And they will hang around the colony a few days. All right, jump to location. Coming in over here, and we don't have much. Just some alpacas packed up, three of them. Okay, now, I know this was only they can go through our doors, that's why they're coming this way. This was only for packing up our own caravans, but I'm still going to leave it there until I see that these guys want to hover over here. Then I'll rule out all possible doubt that it could be something more than everybody figured because they all made that assumption and didn't try it. That's the way I roll. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's get some more of these in. So, structure and marble move you in too. Walkways down here. Okay, so we don't have an aisle down here. You're going there, 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 and there. And across here, we've got granite door. That's still selected, thankfully. Uh, well, maybe we do have some in stock now. Um, everything's lined up correctly, it looks like it. Now, temperature, vents, you guys go here and here. And everything just froze. Okay, that's pattern complete, right? I think so. So we've got available to us, I guess... Yeah, I need to fill you in. There. Right there. Then maybe some more spaces here and there that I've missed. Like uh, this pump over here. Once that's gone, then we can fill that in. Um, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And 8's 14, 15, 16 bedrooms are pretty much ready to uh, do something with. Hospital and kitchen complex. And then moving into research. And then be the beginnings of production. More production. I'd say production and then start working on the jail. Start getting the jail moved into a permanent place. And so we can start tearing this area down. And then moving production into this area. Okay. Uh, work frenzy. That now is handy again. Oh, great. Although there's not much to do. She can fill in the, uh, the lights, which is what I was working on. I'm going to pause for a second. Because I don't want... These guys are where now? They've already made their way in. I want to watch them. But let's go ahead and get the last of these guys in. While she's got her work frenzy, she can come in here and fill in all of these rooms. It's a lot of wood, unfortunately. There wasn't one in there, right? Right. So one over here just to light up the darkness is the idea. So that we don't... Uh, so we have a slightly less chance of a bug infestation before we really get rolling on this thing you're there you're there we should have one i guess these have all burned out and nobody has gone in to refill them okay you're going you guys are going where and klaus needs we'll let you finish your sleep they're sure heading over to this thing they're sure heading over to this thing they're not going to stay but they they faked me out pretty good there <laughs> um, yeah, let's see what they're doing. I wonder if they go to center of home zone. Home zone now that we've... Well, this was already added before, though, too. Okay. So, they've never been in here before. We had a lot of this dug up last time. And they did wander this direction before. Hmm... Make incendiary shell. I only set up for one. 
Where is this chem fuel coming from? I'm a little confused. She managed to find another 30? Um. Okay. Um, let's do until we have um, 20. Until we have 20. But I want... You are an incendiary shell. Wow. Where did the 30 chem fuel come from? There's more over here. Alright, I'm really kind of confused. What do you guys know about this? It just keeps showing up. We got a bug? There's no source. These things don't produce it somehow, do they? They shouldn't. They don't just leak chem fuel and someone picks it up. What is the source? The refinery's not been built, but it just keeps showing up. Wild boar's given birth. Right over here, one little biggie is not sleepy. Mm -hmm. All right, any more animals ready to to pop? We have a we have sienna that's going to happen soon. Sienna health. Late stage, could be any time. What are you doing out here? Sleeping. Ooh. We have overrun our ability to, to host animals. Okay. So, for now, I'll stick another two sleep spots where those doors used to be. But, animal sleep spots. That's right. We could put in some dog beds. Some real ones now. Animal, um, right there, the animal beds. Huh. We've got enough stuff now, though I would want to specifically not make it out of the uh, muffalo leather. I think that's probably some pretty good uh, um, uh, pretty good uh, clothing. Just noticing Natalia with that tan. Wish I knew where that came from. That's wild. Okay. Anyway, uh, let's get this trade done. We'll call this episode done. Is that the plan? Actually, I'm at that one hour mark already. And we've got Tomislav two and a half times faster. Yeah, let's do this trade next time. Though it's interesting, they have they've they've claimed this area as their own now. Hmm. Okay. When the base is finished, if they seem to always be going to a certain area, then we'll just make a little table and chair area for them. It may not be here by the time we finish the jail and, and all this. Our center of mass may be somewhere over here, I don't know. So when the base is finished we'll take another look at them without installing the hospitality mod to do it. We'll see if we can just use the game the way it is. Anyway, yeah, let's call this one done. We'll trade next time, and I'll work with the animals and, and uh, a few other little things like that in between. And I'll catch you next time, folks. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm.